Hello and welcome to OG Solutions Incorporated. Thank you very much for checking our videos. This video is going to be a bit about uh, fuel oil spills and the remediation approach. So if you're a homeowner and you have an oil tank um, or if you've noticed that you've recently been paying a little bit too much money uh, for your oil being delivered or if you have any kind of uh, idea that you might be having a leak on your property then please listen um, a little bit uh, to this uh, video so that you can get a little bit of information. So the most important thing here is that uh, oil spills are quite catastrophic. They can uh, be very costly um, and the number one thing is that you want to get to them as soon as possible. So leaving an oil spill on your property is no good. You want to get to that as soon as possible because cleaning something up now is a lot easier than cleaning something up later. I'll give you an example um, say for example your property has a water table if you have a slow leak and you know about it you know your uh, soil might be getting contaminated slowly but eventually will reach the water table and once it reaches the water table then your issues might just become a lot greater than they were at the very beginning because water will spread oil will float over top of the water table and it might migrate to other neighbors etc or if you're in an area of natural significance or if you're near a waterway you definitely want to be concerned about your oil system so get it checked often most uh, coats require that you check them yearly make sure you check your filter make sure you check your tank for water inside of the tank make sure you check your tank so that it's away enough from your home so that it's not creating any space for uh, debris or anything to build up there and potentially corrode the tank Make sure that it's protected from the elements so that it's also not being impacted by the uh, the effects of, uh, of the summer and winter fluctuations that we get here in Canada. And uh, try to keep your system topped up. Um, in, the, uh, in the event that you do have a leak, you do want to get to it as soon as possible. There is no such thing as doing a small assessment. You want to be able to get to it right away and assess whether it's moved in the ground and whether it's moved into the water in your property. Um, if you see that it's small and contained, then you know, give it a give it a, a look anyway. But uh, contact me and let me know, and I can uh, guide you through the process um, and help you out when it comes to. Uh, cleaning up an oil spill that you might have on your property but if you're a homeowner please do pay attention to this because I've seen way too many claims where uh, homeowners have been left um, with very little resources because they have not been aware of how much coverage they have in the different insurance companies that they've uh, contracted for their home insurance um, I recently checked uh, my home insurance policy and it shows that I have no coverage for fuel oil spills or leakages. Uh, but if I was somebody living in a rural area where I rely on home heating oil um, on a daily basis, I would like to know how much coverage I have and what kind of exclusions are in the policy so that in the unfortunate event that you have an oil spill on your property, you're 100% guaranteed that you're going to be covered um, and not be left with a huge financial burden. So please do check this website very often. I'm going to be posting some more information about this because I want you to be proactive. I want you to have all the resources and the information ahead of time so that we can make informed decisions together and we can help the environment now and in the future. 